In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use the Generative Expand tool in Photoshop. Let's start with this beautiful landscape image and let's make this horizontally formatted. So what we're going to do is click on this crop tool and instead of actually cropping this down to a horizontal rectangle, what I'm going to do is start dragging out these edges to roughly the size and the shape that I want this to be. So in this image, I want a little bit more of the water showing on this side. And once I have it the rough shape and composition that I'm looking for, I'm going to go ahead and just click generate. In theory, this should just expand the background to fit in with what is already in the image. And this from this initial generation actually did a great job. There's some funky stuff going on with the buildings behind the trees right here. And I'm not sure what this artifact is in the corner. So let me click through some of these different variations that we got from this expansion. So we're on option one. Let's click on option two. Love that one, except that little corner again. Or option three, ooh, that's cool. To see the different variations, if you want to, you can use these arrows down on your toolbar instead, or of course you can click up here. So of these, I think that I like this third variation the best. I am just going to mess with the two bottom corners a little bit. I don't really know what's going on there and also not really sure what that is, but to me, the rest of the image looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is use our normal lasso tool and I am just using the angular one, you can use whatever selection tool you'd like to start editing these images a little bit more. I'm going to make this first selection and I will do generative fill. I'm going to click generate to see if it will just fix this little area. Perfect, that pretty much got rid of it. There is still a weird little white dot so I'm going to click through these to see which of these I like best. Again, I'm going to go with option three. Now let's work on this other corner. So I'm just going to select that rough area again, click generative fill and generate. Perfect. So I think any of these three variations should look like they work. Um, I guess I'll just go with one for that one. So once you have your final selections picked of the variations you're using, your file size, if you were to save it now, would be absolutely ginormous. So what we're going to do is go in and delete these unused variations. Same here and same with our first expansion. Now don't delete those variations if you think you're going to need to go back to them, but since this looks pretty good for what I want as my final, I'm going to go ahead and save this and we can move on to our second image. All right, scenario number two, you gave grandma your phone. She took a picture of you and your kitten, but she completely cropped off the top of your head. So instead of telling grandma that she has bad photography skills, what we're going to do is go back to that crop tool and let's try to fix this with generative expand again. So in this case, I am just going to drag up the very top of this image maybe a little bit above where I anticipate the top of her head would be. I'm going to click generate and let's see what it comes up with. That's pretty believable for a first try. I'm going to click through the other variations just to see. And again, on this one, I actually like this third variation better. I feel like the head shape is a little bit more realistic and that gives us some nice trees in the background that are kind of absent from the first two. So compositionally, I think that this is the one that we would send grandma. We would say, wow, great photo, grandma. Can't believe that you took that. Um, 
and she never has to know. So that is a couple of ways to use the generative expand tool in Photoshop. So of course you can always go in and edit these images further to be closer to what you want, but I would say for a first try for generative expand and without giving it a prompt, on both of these images, it actually did a really great job on the first try. So let me know in the comments if there's anything cool that you guys have done or figured out with Generative Expand in Photoshop, and I will see you guys in the next video.